This is Sophia with the Craft Beer Collective channel. We're here in Hackney at one of our favorite breweries, Five Points Brewing Company. Crazy busy at the front and you've only been open so we're only about a year and a month old. We're going to be adding two more fermenter tanks which will allow us to brew even more beer. Do you have an IPA launching very soon? Yes, hopefully at the end of May or beginning of June. You were talking about before how brewing is very much trial and error and you're still figuring out what works best. Because we keg, bottle and cast all our beers in-house as opposed to contracting somebody else to do it for us. In this way, it kind of helps us be accountable for any mistakes, but also keep an eye on the product. It's a good way of ensuring that our beer can appeal to all types of people, people that drink real ale, people that drink keg beer, or, or people that just drink good beer in general, which is how I think most of us are. You generally have a core range of really good beers. And it is kind of important for us to kind of like hone the beer that we brew to the point where it's perfect. And I feel like sometimes we might be a bit boring to some people, but we're kind of like the beer that you've probably already had, but you know is really good. Sometimes there's a bit of fatigue among some drinkers when they've had like their, they've had quite enough barrel aged, wine aged, white spice saisons, which is great. But every now and then you just want a beer. We do have a little bit of the trial batch of the Kiowamaru Red. That's its working title. Kiwamaru. <laughs> Kiwamaru, yeah. I don't know if that's going to be like kind of marketable uh, at the pub, especially after you've had one of the Kiwamaru reds. Or four or five, then you're like, Rawr. yes. Oh, Still yeah. a work in progress. It'll kind of give you an idea of what we've got happening here at the Five Points. Yeah. Very excited about that. I've never tasted a pilot batch of anything. I'm going to have some tea. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's gorgeous. So this is, again, it's our, our Hook Island Red with Clemson's coffee steeped in, in like the last stages of fermentation. Definitely taste the berries and loads of coffee, which is fantastic. Yeah. That would be a perfect summer drink, though. The coffee beer sent to be stout supporter. Yeah, anybody who's a fan of iced coffee. Got a really busy summer coming up, so that'll be exciting. There's the London Brewers Market, and that's happening on the 12th of July and that's going to be at Old Spitalfields in conjunction with the indie label market that they have. So it's going to be records and beer win. An open day um, that we're planning uh, for the months of July and August as well. The Leeds International Beer Festival. And uh, we're also going to be participating in Raw Wine Fair alongside Colonel and a few other breweries. This beer uh, that we're drinking right now, it's unfiltered and unfined and also unpasteurized. So how's it going down for you? Oh. I would have trusted it already if we weren't talking in, on camera. Right? But yeah, it's brilliant. Excellent. Good stuff. So yeah, so hopefully we'll be able to put this together with Clemson's and have a like proper brew day and everything. All right. Well, thank you again for talking with us and uh, so the pilot taste. Yeah, so, uh, glad you're enjoying it. And you. looking forward to whatever you come up with next. Yeah, so am I. It's, it should be good. I've had some of the other trial brews and I think it's, it's going to be a really exciting summer for us here at the Five Points. So.